In this video, we are going to look into a problem which requires to calculate the credit sales and credit purchase uh, from the chapter accounts from incomplete records, standard 12. So, this is the 16th problem. From the following details, you are required to calculate the credit sales and credit purchase by preparing total debtors account, creditors account, bills receivable account, and bills payable account. So he has clearly mentioned that we have to open all the four accounts in order to find the credit sales and credit purchase. So there they have given it to you in a split up way. The balances, the opening balances of all the four items that is the debtors, creditors, bills receivable and bills payable and the closing balances of all the four items, debtors, creditors, bills receivable and bills payable other than that, they have given you other information which is related to all the four accounts. So, we have to disintegrate these items and look into it as to which item goes into which account. And we have to start the account. So, first let's start off the bills receivable account. So, if you look into the bills receivable account, the items which are going to go into the bills receivable account, obviously the opening balance and the closing balance of the bills receivable Apart from that, you have cash received for bills receivable 60,000 and uh, bills receivable dishonored. So, out of these, we have to find out the bills receivable which is going to be transferred into the total debtors account and the dishonor will also be transferred into the total debtors account. So, let's start a bills receivable account. So, now I have written out the bills receivable account, the debit side and credit side according to the items which we have already seen in the problem. So, first off, let me start with the debit side, bills receivable, debit side. So, opening balance of the bills receivable account that is 30,000 must be recorded. Apart from that, we do not have anything to do with the debit side of the bills receivable account. Only the balancing figure is there. Next, on the credit side, we have cash received from bills receivable, rupees 60,000. Closing balance of the bills receivable is rupees 8,000. And the dishonor which is given that bills receivable dishonor of 4,000. So, now we have to add up the debits and the credits. The debit side has only 30,000 whereas the credit side has 60,000 plus 8,000 plus 4,000 which gives me a total of 72,000. So, I write that 72,000 on both sides as my grand total. So, after writing that as a grand total, now I must subtract 30,000 from 72,000 to get the bills receivable balancing figure. So, that gives me an answer of 42,000. So, the bills receivable balancing figure which is on the debit side must be transferred into the credit side of the Sunday debtors account. Likewise, the dishonor which is there on the credit side of the bills receivable account must be transferred into the debit side of the Sunday debtors account or total debtors account. So, let's start off with the total debtors account. So, according to the total debtors account, the values which we are going to pick out from for the total debtors account is for the debit side, we need the opening balance. So, opening sundry debtors 2 lakh 40,000 and the bills uh, which has been dishonored 4,000 will be transferred over there. Apart from that, we will have only the answer. Now, for the credit side, we will be having the cash received from debtor 6 lakh from the other information. Again, discount allowed to customers will be there. Bad debts will be included. And the closing balance will be included for the total debtors account. And the bills receivable balancing figure from the total bills receivable account will be transferred into the sundry debtors account credit side. So, let's start with the sundry debtors account. So, here I've written out the format of the sundry debtors account after analyzing the problem and picking out the... Um, particulars which I require for it. So, let me start off with the debit side. Debtor account, I start with the debit side. So, the opening balance of the sundry debtors is given as 2,40,000. Bill dishonor which has been transferred from the bills pay receivable account 4,000. And the credit sales which we have to find out. So, my debit side is over. Now, I am moving on to the credit side. So, the credit side Cash received from sundry debtors that is 6 lakhs. Discount allowed given as 25,000. 
bad debts as 16000 and the closing balance given as 220000 finally it's a bills receivable from the bills receivable account balancing figure 42000 so my next step is i must total both the sides using a pencil so if i take the debit side it is going to be a total of only 244000 and whereas i take the credit side i have a total of 9 lakh 3000 which is my greatest total so i will take that and write it as my grand total on both the sides of the debit and credit of the total debtors account so after i write the total i will move on to the debit side where i have to find the credit sales or balancing figure now i have to subtract the 9 lakh i have to subtract the 2 lakh 44000 from 9 lakh 3000 which will give me an answer of 6 lakh 59,000 as my credit sales. So we have finished with the bills receivable account. We have finished with the total debtors account which gave us the answer of the credit sales. The next set of the sum is to open the bills payable account and the total creditors account to find the credit sales. So next let's pick out the items which are uh, for the bills payable account so for the bills payable account we need the opening bills payable and the closing bills payable apart from that we do not have any dishonor or any uh, acceptance of the bills so we have only the cash paid to the bills payable payments against bills payable so that is the only item which is extra so totally we have only three items over here and the balance uh, that is the bills payable balance which is to be transferred to the creditors account so let's start the bills payable account so here i've written down the bills payable account a format according to the particulars which we have in the sum so first bills payable account i will start with the credit side so my credit side will show the opening balance and the creditors account that is the bills payable you can also write it as two bills payable transfer to the creditor account so i directly just wrote creditors account to show that it's been transferred so, the opening balance of the bills payable is 10,000. So, apart from this, I do not have anything else to record in the creditor's account. So, I move on to the debit side. So, credit side is over. The debit side, I have to record the cash pay. That is payment against bills payable, rupees 30,000. Next, I have the closing balance of the bills payable that is 20,000. So, if I add up my debit and my credit, obviously my debit side is more than my credit. My debit side total is 50,000, whereas my credit side total is only 10. So, I write the 50,000, which is the greatest total on both the sides as my grand total. Next, I have to subtract the 10,000 from the 50,000 on the credit side to find out the answer of the bills payable that is 40,000. So this 40,000 must be transferred into the creditor's account. So next let's go into the items which are uh, for the total creditor's account. So for the total creditor's account we need the opening and the closing creditor. Apart from that we need uh, cash paid to creditors 3,20,000. And then there is a discount allowed by the supplier 10,000 and the bills payable which uh, will be transferred from the bills payable account 40,000. That's all. So let's start with the total creditors account. Here I've written down the format of the total creditors account according to the particulars given in the sum. So when it's a total creditor account, I'll start with the credit side. So the credit side will reflect only the opening balance and the balancing figure. So since there's no dishonor. So, the opening balance of the creditor is 1,20,000. So, other than that, I need not record anything. The credit purchase is the balancing figure. So, I leave out the credit side and I move on to the debit side of the total creditor's account. So, my debit side is going to be first one to cash paid. That is cash paid to creditors 3,20,000. Discount allowed by suppliers will be related to the total creditor. So, that is... Uh, rupees 10,000 bills payable which is going to be transferred from the bills payable account the answer of the bills payable account that is 40,000 and lastly the closing creditor value that is 1,50,000 
So now I have to balance both the sides. So my debit side, I have four items to add up and my credit side has only 1,20,000. So my debit side total is going to be 5,20,000 which is the greatest total. So I write that total on both sides of my debit and credit. So after I write this, I just have to subtract 1,20,000 from 5,20,000 to get the credit purchases for the sum that is 4 lakh rupees. So we finished opening all the four accounts and we have also achieved the credit purchases and the credit sales for this particular sum.